Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and this video is going to be an extension of my previous where we implemented the page object model in Playwright. If you haven't seen that video, I'd pause this one now and go watch that so you can be in the same position where I am, where you have a page object model set up and you want to not instantiate the classes inside your test files, but we're going to create new fixtures for these. So if you remember from last video, we have a basic test setup where we go into the computer database website, add in a computer and insert it works. Let's just add a breakpoint. Oh, we already have the breakpoint. Perfect. Let's debug the test and just show you where we're at for this. So it adds it and it's created. So we know it's working. Everything's perfect. All we have to do is extend our fixtures to add these in. So let's do exactly that. So let's minimize all this second. So inside the test folder, I'm going to create a new folder and call it fixtures. And inside fixtures, I'm going to create a file and I'm going to call it base page. TS. Now inside here is where we want to extend the basic test that is provided by Playwright to add these two new fixtures, which essentially are our page object model classes, our pages. So let's do that. First of all, we want to import some things. So we can say import test as base. So that's going to be our alias, not bade, as base. That's going to come from Playwright, of course. So Playwright test. We're also going to want to import our two pages like we did in the test here. So we'll say import computers page. And, oh, and we'll say import add computer page so we've got everything we need to work with so the first thing i want to do then is extend basic test by providing these fixtures so let's say export const test which will equal base.extend which is where we just talked about extending it inside here we want to pass through those two parameters so it's going to be a computers page which will be of type computers page in one map to be a capital C hit that last time as well. And then also we want to pass through the options of add computer page. Add computer page, which will be of type add computer page. We can close off those angle brackets now and we want to say this is where the method of all the body is going to happen. So in this case now we want to say define a fixture. And this is really easy to do. So what we have to do is we'll do computers page first. We'll say computers page async. We want to pass through the page as the property, of course. And we want to use. And use is what's going to allow us to actually use or create this new fixture and use it in our test. So we've got use, create the callback. And inside here, it's simply just going to be a way to use new computers page. And of course, it passes through page, which is why we pass this through here. Awesome. So that's our first fixture created. Let's just do the second one. Let's copy this because it's easier to do a copy and paste. And instead of computers page, you've had it. You've probably guessed it. It's going to be add computers page. And the class is going to be add computer page. And that's it for using a fixture. Now, everything else will be exactly the same in the test. But instead of creating the instance there, we can do it here. I have fixtures videos and I have a video of which how we turn hooks into fixtures where we explain the benefits of using fixtures over anything else. So I'll link both of those onto the screen and put them in the description. I would suggest viewing those so you have a better understanding of what we're doing. But just to kind of break this down then, what we've said here is we want to extend base test by providing the computer page and add computer page. So just to show what I mean, let's comment these out a second. Inside test one specs, we don't want to import test from Playwright anymore. What we want to do is import from that base page. So we'll say import test. Instead of coming from Playwright test, we're going to say come from fixtures base page. Now you still have access to everything. You can see you've still got the page request. You've got all the other ones you want. You can do, you know, contact, browser name, everything you want. It's all still there. If I try to say add computer page here, of course, it's going to try and bring it through, but it's not using this, so it'd, it'd fall over. But if I comment those out, if I try and say add computer page, nothing's coming through. If I said computers page, nothing is coming through. If I uncomment, 
these new fixtures that we're adding and I uncomment these because if I add this in, you'll be able to use them. So tell what we'll do as an example, we'll say computers page and add computers page. We don't need these anymore because they come in directly from the test. So now this single test is controlling what fixtures to use and you pass through here and you don't have to have the extra code of instantiating everything. If I run this, it's going to fail. And the reason why is because we commented out the actual use section where it's saying set up the computer's page, kind of like create the instance of it. So we'll try and run it and it's not going to like it. Look, it won't run it in the VS Code extension because it doesn't know what's going on. It's actually throwing an error. So it'll be better if we see it in terminal. Let me add a dot only onto this and say npx playwright test. It's going to throw out issues here because we're essentially trying to run the fixture of computers page, which is the first thing and add computers, but we've prompted out the use statement, which actually is setting everything up for us. So let's uncomment that and I'll click run again. And what we should see is it's running and working as expected. So we'll see a tick here and we'll do it in. There we are. So we've got the pass mark here. If I run it in debug mode, just to show it is working, there we are, added and done the same thing. And now we've done it by using fixtures. And this is the approach that I would always suggest to do because you're controlling everything. You've got your setup, you've got your teardown. If you do have anything, all your cleanup, all directly inside the test, which is being extended from here. So if you create a new page, you can follow this approach by importing, adding as the option, and then just creating the instance of the class and doing whatever else you want to do inside it. Of course, that also means then I can remove these imports because they're not needed anymore rerun just to show it's working but perfect that's how easy it is to convert your kind of page object models into um fixtures which can just be brought in and tidy up your tests and make everything a lot more readable as always if you do have any questions please drop a comment below a like and subscribe is appreciated and have a good day